Grade 5, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Ma'am Anne. For today, ay meron na naman tayong panibagong lesson tungkol sa ating Science 5, Week 3, Quarter 3. So, but before that, if you're new to my YouTube channel, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you will update it if I have a new upload videos. For today's lessons, is about light interacts with different materials. For objectives, First, identify the properties of light. Second, describe the behavior of light when it is strike an object. Third, relate the ability of the materials to block, absorb, or transmit light to its use. Light plays an important role in our lives. So we can see things around us in the presence of light. Nakikita natin yung natin natin. Pero isipin nyo na lang kayo isang bulag yun po, wala talaga kayong nakikita. So, when you enter the dark room, so, can you see things inside? If you're, uh, uh, you can leave your answer in our comment section. So, yes or no. And then, when you open the light bulb inside the room, you will see all things in the room. Okay, di ba kapag brand out. Wala tayo talaga talaga makikita. Pero pag inopen mo na yung ilaw sa loob ng room mo, makakakita ka na kung anong meron. Hindi ba? So, yun po yun. So, how is this possible? Dahil nga sa ilaw, di ba? Dahil sa art, ito, sa bulb natin, sa lampshade, mga ganun po. Ring light, ganun. So, dahil yan sa electricity na nanggagaling sa ating lamp, um, uh, ring light and lamp shape. So, do you know what is light is? Ano ba yung light? Ito po yung pag-aaralan natin ngayon. Light comes from the different sources. So, examples are electric bulb, fluorescent bulb, burning candle, electric or gas tube, stars, and other forms of matter that emit light. So, ibig sabihin yung lahat na nababanggit dito is um, mga bagay na nagbibigay ng liwanag. So, things are artificial light kasi ginagawa lang siya ng tao. Lahat po yan gawa ng tao. Artificial light. So, this is the bulb, the fluorescent, the candle, the stove, the stars. Meron pa ngang moon eh. Kasi ang moon, kinukuha niya yung liwanag sa sun. And the sun. So, this for is an example of artificial light. Kasi, gawa siya ng tao, man-made lang po. Pero, pag itong tatlo is natural light. Nasa, nasa atin lang, hindi siya ginagawa ng scientist, hindi siya ginagawa ng teacher natin, hindi siya gawa ng pulis, ng presidente, hindi po. Gawa po, nikha po siya ng Diyos na nasa taas. So, the visible light from the sun travels in straight path through space. So, yung visible light na nakikita natin, yung mga wavelengths and uh, electromagnetic waves na nanggagaling lang talaga sa araw. So, yung pag-travel niya is very straight lang. Straight path. Corb, hindi pa zigzag, ganun. Straight talaga. So, the light that your eyes react to is called white light. Form of energy and travels in wave form called transformation transverse wave. Okay. Ito ay nagtitravel through wave. So, yun ang tinatawag na transverse wave. When light hits on object, three things may happen. So, kapag yung liwanag ay tumama sa isang bagay, may tatlong mangyayari. Light may be first transmitted or yung lumipat or emit, emitting light, yung ganun and reflect, nire-reflect lang yung liwanag, and absorb. Uh, ang iba naman ay na-absorb niya, then yung eyes na lang natin ang mag-interpret kung what color is that. Okay. So, there are three again. There are three things that may happen. First, can be transmitted, second, reflected, and the third, absorb. So, transmission of light. So, light transmitted when it passes through a material easily. So, different materials have different ways of transmitting lights. 
So, transmission of light is commonly observed in transparent materials. Ibig sabihin yung mga transparent, yung, naki, yung, yung mga salamin, yung glass. Kasi nakikita mo yung kung ano yung nasa likod. Yun po ang transparent. Ah, nakikita lahat. Pero, may, may ma, ah, ano siya, materials. Pero nakikita mo kung ano yung sa likod, like, glass transparent things that can allow us to see clearly through them for many purposes. For example, spectacles and hand and lenses are mad transparent because we need to see clearly through them. Bugs, lenses of cameras and screen of television, computers, and cell phones are transparent so light can transmit completely through them. So there are a uh, lot of examples. The bulbs, the lenses of our camera, the screen of our television, and monitor, yung mga cell phones. Yun po yun yun. Kasi, parang yung ang ilaw o yung liwanag ay madali lang matransmit, mailipat. So, some materials do not uh, let all light pass through. So, there are translucent materials. So, a translucent materials like a frosted glass allow allows only some of the light pass through the rest or are scattered. So, they, this is why you cannot see what is behind the frosted glass or translucent. Ang transparent, nakikita natin kung ano doon. Pero ito namang translucent, uh, malabo. Malabo yung nakikita mo sa likod. Parang ganun. Parang uh, i, nag, nagtatransmit siya ng liwanag, pero parang 50-50. 50-50. Dahil 50 lang yung nakita mo, 50 din yung wala. Parang ano lang siya talaga, uh, neutral. Kasi hindi mo nakikita kung ano sa likod. And then ito, si OPEC naman, ang siya yung pinaka malala. Wala kang talagang makikita dahil binablock niya yung di liwanag. So, these materials are, um, some other materials do not transmit light at all. So, these materials are OPEC. So, an OPEC material either absorb or reflect light. Opic materials do not allow light to pass through them. We use and see many opic things every day when light strike and opic materials like wooden table, shadow of an object is formed instead. Okay, kapag uh, opic materials like kahoy, hindi niya inaalaw. Hinaharangan niya po yung uh, hinaharangan niya po yung yung liwanag na tumagos sa kanya. For example, yung punong kahoy kaya pwede tayong mag-relax under the tree kasi hinaharangan yung ng, ka, ng puno yung sun. So, opic materials yung wood and the leaves. And for example, sa ating bahay, yung roof natin, yun ay opic dahil hindi, hindi naman natatagos yung liwanag sa hindi tayo nahihit ng sunlight directly. Kaya, uh, we thanks for these opic materials Kasi hindi tayo na masyadong naiinitan. So, there's a lot of examples pa naman ng opic materials. Okay? And the second is reflection of light. Ano yung una? Transmission of light. Ang transmission meron tatlong uh, kinds. The transparent, the translucent, and the opaque. At when light fails on the transparent or translucent things, some amount of light is transmitted while some amount of light gets absorbed. So the best bounces off the surface of the thing, this bouncing of light off and surface is reflection of light. So it is the bouncing off of light rays from the object's surface. So this happen when the visible light is totally absorbed by the material. So smooth and polished materials do not absorb all that light that strike them. So, most of the light rays that strike the materials bounce off. Okay, for example, the mirror, kapag hinihit na ni, kapag inano natin yan sa light, nagre-reflect talaga yung uh, light. So, light bends or refract. So, ito yung example of refraction. Meron kayong activity for this. And, when it travels from one medium to another, so as a result, the speed of light changes. So, the pencil in the glass appears bent or broken. Okay, kapag nilagay natin yung pencil sa loob ng glass na may water, so, ang sa tingin ng ating mata ay parang nabali siya and then yung the, the part na, na na deep dun sa water is looks bigger. Unlike sa part ng pencil sa above na uh, normal size lang siya. 
So the light shows down that is traveled from the air to the water and has bent appearance. So because of the lights slow down travel, kaya naging ang pagtingin natin is nakabend. So that is called refraction. Let the light from a flashlight bulb or any source of light pass through prism and then to a blackboard. The light that went through the prism. So this is also happens when there is a rainbow. Okay, so yung pag uh, the rainbow happens when the uh, raindrops yung mga molecules na na nasa atmosphere natin. So nagki-create siya ng spectrum. So that is rainbow. So when white light passes through a prism kasi uh, ang prism para siyang glass and then kapag yung white light ay nagdumaan doon so nagpo-form na po siya ng uh, rainbow so it separates into different colors that's why it is a formation of a rainbow so the light of different wavelengths have different colors so ang um, nagkakaroon ng iba't ibang kulay dahil din sa uh, magkakaibang wavelengths doon sa lights na yon the separation of white light into different colors called dispersion ang paghiwalay ng white light yung visible light natin ay nagpo-form siya ng different colors. Ang tawag doon is dispersion. So, at light pass through from one medium to another, so light from the air to solid, it changes speed. So, the change in speed result the bending of light called refraction. So, yun na nga po dahil nga sa um, air, tapos naging ano din sa solid yung uh, itong pencil na nilagay sa water, yung uh, pagbabago ng uh, bilis doon sa white light, kaya nagkakaroon po siya ng refraction. Serious, kaya sa tingin na, kaya nga po sa tingin natin ay parang nabali yung the part of the pencils na nasa ating what, sa, what, sa glass. Okay, so next light, absorption of light. So, the refraction of light shows the white light consists of different colors. So, these colors are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Ito yung tinatawag natin, Roy G. Vib, sa rainbow. So, but why do we need only a particular color in an object? So, when light, when light strikes, some of the colors are absorbed, so while some are reflected. So, kapag ang liwanag ay tumama na po, so, ang, color, ang ibang color ay na-absorb, ang iba naman ay nire-reflect nila. So, the reflected color in the... The reflected color is the color of the object that you see. Okay, for example, itong apple. Lahat ng, lahat ng kulay ay ina-absorb niya maliban lang sa kulay red. Ito, nakikita niyo po yung red apple. Lahat ng kulay ina-absorb niya, ang nire-reflect niya ay red. All colors absorb, but red is being reflected. So, yun, kaya, yun po. Kaya, magiging red. So, ano sana tayo? So, study the picture, the white light strikes the apple. All the colors absorb except for red. So, the apple appears to be red. So, black materials appear black to your eyes because... They absorb the light completely and very little from the black material received by your eye. So that is the absorption of light. Another example, sa mga dahon natin, uh, lahat ng kulay ay ina-absorb maliban sa green kasi nire-reflect niya yung green. So that is why the most of the uh, leaves are green. So in your learning task, uh, this is a graphic organizer. So tell what uh, tell what happened when light falls on different materials. Complete the graphic organizer. Write your answer in your answer sheet or paper. So this is the exact title of your graphic organizer: absorption of light, reflection, and transmission. So you have to complete the sentence and copy and copy answer. Copy and answer. Okay, so in your learning test 2, through or false, um, read the following situation carefully and write through if the situation states that light is being absorbed and false if it's not. So, isusulat mo dyan ay klaro-klaro, true and false. Hindi po, hindi po 
T and F. So, true and false po dapat ang sagot nyo po. So, in the next learning task, block or absorb. So, turn on the flashlight. So, kailangan uh, kumuha kayo ng flashlight. Sa cellphone, meron naman ang flashlight. Then, it, uh, test if the following material is black or absorb. Then, record your answer in the table. Then, put check on the proper column. So, there are five materials. Pero, kung wala kayo nito, pwede naman baguhin nyo po. Kung wala kayong kahoy, pwede palitan mo ng plato. Pwede yan. Kung wala kayong ball, kung meron kayong um, ano ba, chara, pwede. Kung ano available na limang materials sa inyo, pwede nyo pong isulat ng limang bagay dyan. And then, ititesting mo ito ngayon through the flashlight. Ito ba ay hinaharangan? Or ito ba ay dumiretso yung liwana? So, you can check here. Okay, woods, na, na hinaharangan ba yung lights? Or hindi. So, yan po, uh, lagyan mo lang ng check. Copy the table and put a check mark. Okay, the next learning task, light transmission. So, tell if the following materials can transmit light. Write the word transmit if it can transmit and leave blank if it cannot. Okay, so there are five items. Kapag itong uh, uh, statement dyan ay nagsasaad na ito ay uh, lumilipat yung liwanag, isulat nyo transmit. Kapag hindi, leave it blank. Hayaan mo lang siya ng blanko kung hindi siya nagtatransmit niyang ng light. Okay? Understand? And the next learning task, table completion. So, cite three examples and activities where you transmit, absorb, or black things. So, copy the table and answer. You can cite an example of uh, transmitting lights, blocking the light, and absorbing light. So, yun po. Simple lang po. And that's all for today, guys. If you have a comment, suggestion, recommendation, suggestion, don't forget to leave it your comment in our comment section. And thanks for watching. And that's all for today. But wait. So, answers inside the description box. So, nandyan po and yung link po ng week 1, week 2. Yun po. So, thank you so much. God bless. Mabuhay po tayong lahat.